Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Helicool Helipad. I searched the, the YouTube database and could not find a video of how to put in an oil catch can in a VW Bug. This is a new Beetle. It's a 2001, it's older, obviously, but it started running very poorly. Uh, no power at all. I couldn't even hear the turbo. And even though they say, don't put any uh, cleaners into the intake because a chunk could fall loose. Yeah, I guess that could happen. But as long as you do it correctly, it should be just fine. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to fix this, how to fix this problem of all of this uh, mist oil going into the intake and coking it all up. Stay tuned. Now, this is not a paid advertisement whatsoever. But what I did is I took some sea foam in the spray can. I cut out a little block of wood. I also disconnected a part. I'm gonna show you that real quick. So what I did is I disconnected, I pulled this part, pulled this part, and this whole hose, removed it, and got the engine fired up, and had somebody maintain it at 1500 RPM as I squirt, 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 inside of here to get all the gunk out a whole can make sure that you have a block of wood because at this point in time if you get a little bit too heavy with the squirt could the engine actually run away yes it could because this is a diesel engine so this is why you have the block of wood so that you can slam it over the top of that intake and cut off the air supply thus preventing an engine runaway that is not the only technique it is not the technique you can remove the whole intake, take it off, get a torch, get it lit, and some air, compressed air, and blast all of that gunk that is coked up all over the place inside that intake. Because what happens is oil mist gets pushed in, and as it heats, it starts to close off the windpipe so that this thing can't breathe anymore. So you get rid of all of that. You can either do it one or two ways. You either pull that intake off, which is a lot of work, and torch it and get it all cleaned up, or you can do a little bit easier way. It might be a little more risky, but again, it's completely up to you. The next thing, I purchased this oil catch can, and I put the largest size uh, um, connectors on there that I possibly could that came with the kit. I also built this little bracket and I just had this. This just happens to be a window treatment bracket. I think it came off of, I don't know, some some uh, uh, some window shades or something rather. Anyway, it doesn't make that much a difference. I made this window bracket, made the little bend here at the end, and I'll show you exactly where I'm going to put it. All right, so there is a hole right here on the side of the air box. And... It just so happens that this thing fits just like that. I'm gonna put a, a, a screw right down in there and it's gonna hold just like that. This is where I need to run this uh, oil can from because, well, you just pinch this together, pull this off. Okay, so it is the crank crankcase exhaust that's taking all this oil into the um, and pushing it all the way around and into the intake and getting all this oil and coking up the intake. So this is what I want to um, either cut into or replace. So the hose that came with this kit will not fit into these holes. So what I had to do was, um, and you can go to the store and get your own, uh, get your own hose. This is one that I actually salvaged off of another engine. Um, should work just fine But again, you could go to the store and just buy brand new hose if you'd like to so this is what I need to cut into and Go into the oil catch can This catch can is is actually pretty cool because it has a little dipstick so you can kind of tell when it is full and to remove the bottom of it dump it out and Reinstall it and be right back into operating condition again Check this out. This is where it's just a little 
a little uh, tab on the engine just to hold the, the part into place. And so is this. So it used to go on like this to go that direction. The can is gonna go here, check this out. It fits right on there, going right to the where I needed to go. That's pretty awesome and easy. Score. All right, so I took this other piece of hose. This is the OEM uh, part that connects back to here. This hose doesn't fit perfectly, but what I'm gonna do is uh, zip tie it here and it should work out just fine. All right, it is all done. Part is in and looking good. Just remember that there is an in and there is an out. It says so right on the side. So make sure this is going in and this is going back out. This should solve that whole problem of getting all that gunk inside the intake and letting it build up. This should run pretty darn good now. Just like magic, runs like a dream. And this time, it won't get coked up because I've got an oil can that's ready to grab up all that mist and prevent that from happening. If you like this video, click on that like button, leave a comment. I really appreciate it. That's how you support this channel. Till next time, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless. <laughs>